you see the new left and, and almost specifically uh, uh, one of the professors in this building, Francis Fox Piven and Richard Cloward in their book, Regulating the Poor and in their movement as a almost prime movers in this disintegration of the black community in one sense and the rise of this this feeling or this this paradigm of therapeutic alienation. Francis Fox Piven and Richard Cloward created so much black pain and it's really a shame how little this is known. It's very simple. The idea that there could be a kind of welfare policy where generation after generation stayed on it, nobody cared whether the people got a job and you were paid for having kids, didn't exist until the late 60s. A lot of people seem, understandably, to think that that's the way welfare always was. It was that way for a good 30 years. That only started then. There's a reason why when you read a novel about the black poor in, in say, the 1930s or 40s, that welfare is generally mentioned once or twice. It was hard to get on. It barely paid you enough to eat. And social workers were always trying to mm -hmm. get you off it. And this counted for whites as well as blacks. So there's more I'm talking about welfare as a racial issue in the 30s or 40s. But starting in the late 60s, welfare was expanded by those Columbia social workers. Their idea was benevolent. They were trying to create a guaranteed income. But that didn't happen. And it left black communities where it was possible to spend your life, if you were a woman, living on welfare, and to spend your life making children you didn't have to take care of if you were a man. You couldn't do that in 1958 because the government wasn't going to take care of the kids. So the issue is not that black people were somehow evil to go on the welfare. If it was offered, of course, about every third person took it. That's human nature. But if that welfare hadn't existed, the black community today would be much more coherent than it was. There's no such thing as whole communities where having a father was strange until welfare was changed that way. It was one of the most important aspects of black history, what those people did to welfare legislation, although it should also be said that it was spearheaded by George Wiley, who was mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. But still, it was a grievous, grievous wrong. And the people involved in that, even today, the ones who are alive, have blood on their hands, and they had a more profound effect on the black community across this country than factories moving away or anybody using the word nigger or any of the other things that we're trained to think more about.